Hi, welcome back to the Gap Search channel. My name is Gabby, and today we're gonna talk about 12 songs that are gonna help you in your hi-fi journey. Songs that are very nicely recorded and songs that are not that popular. You may not like all of them, we all have different tastes, but even if you like a few of them, I would have achieved my goal. We won't be able to play them because they're copyrighted songs. I'm not gonna make a list of them in the comments because I want you guys to watch this video I've worked so hard on. Uh, otherwise, it, people will just click on it for a few seconds. Uh, it'll sing that that's a terrible video and YouTube will not play it. If you want to help the channel, all you have to do is share this video. And if you know of a good song that's very well recorded, that's not that popular, please comment below and let us know. And by sharing all your comments, those dozens of songs will become hundreds and we all get to pull in and share the knowledge. So let's get started with song number one. The woman singing Blue Tofu. This is a very well recorded song. Uh, it has some really good bass, good rhythm, and uh, it's got some nice uh, overall timber to the whole orchestra. And it will make your system lively and you will hopefully you will appreciate it. Song number two, My Funny Valentines by Emil Scholzberg. This is a retake on an older song, but the quality of this production is next to none. The sounds and the vocals and all the instruments are really good. Uh, I have to say probably one of the top songs in terms of quality recording that I have come across and uh, I like that song and I hope you guys will like it. Number three, A Shadow Left Unknown by Mr. Goshness. I had the privilege of photographing one of the lead singers of the band, Caliandra. I'm actually a photographer as well. And that is the uh, photo that you see on the thumbnail of this video. This is a great band from uh, British Columbia, Canada. And uh, um, it's got, the song has a, an amazing uh, video on YouTube. It's shot in a nice vintage style. I'll play some of it here and I'll put the link of it below if anybody's interested in watching it. Also, I'll put all the credits about this song and the band in the description below. I climb the tree Where neither one of you can find me Number four, Songbird by Ellen Benedictson. This is a song that has beautiful vocals and it just wants you to keep on uh, listening. It starts really into a nice melodic way and it just keeps on building and building. Number five, Love is a Bitch by Two Feet. This song starts slow and builds on a bit of momentum as it goes. But mostly what great about the song is the quality of the vocals and the instrument. It's one of those songs that makes you want to listen to it for a while. Number six, Ain't Got Love by Chris Jones. If you want your speakers and your system to come alive, this song is going to do it for you. It's just have its own ways. The music just so phenomenal. The instrument is beautiful and it's just so very well recorded. Uh, it's just gonna get your system go really live. It's one of those songs that you can really showcase and if you wanna show your system, it will, it will do a great job at that. Number seven, Jack Glamour de Galdry by Emma Steinbacon. This is a not, this is not an English song obviously and it's more from my world series and uh, it's always nice to listen to other songs, songs that you are not familiar with. Um, she's very popular and she's got some beautiful, beautiful voice. And it's one of those bands that you really want to try to get to know. Next, we have Andy by Claude Van Stroke, uh, another uh, song that will start slow and builds momentum. This is more, it's got rhythm, it's got bass, and it just keeps on going. Le Temps Passé 
by Michel Jonas. Don't let the French wording scare you off. It's actually a beautiful song. And this is a song that's gonna test your system, especially the bass. If your speakers don't go below 50, you may find this, this song a bit boring. But if your speakers can do low bass, it's just that the vibration, and these are like proper instruments. We're not talking about banging bass here. Proper instruments, proper bass, and just the vibrations will make your system really feel alive. Next, we have Diskafalov. It's a Swedish singer, and her name is Sofia Carlson. I'm trying to introduce you to different genres of music and just broaden your horizons, and sometimes by opening our mind to some of the world's best songs and music, it really enriches us all. This is one of those songs that you might want to listen to, and you'll soon fall in love with that music. Sophia Carlson attended the Royal College of Musicians in Stockholm, and she's won many awards, and she's one of those very highly respected musicians. Next, we have In a State by Uncle. This is a song that you can play you have people over and just, uh, I wouldn't say a background song, but it's one of those songs that uh, you can play and enjoy with a glass of wine or something like that. Uh, maybe most of them you can, but this one in particular. Number 12, Living on a Rainbow by Julia and Angus Stone. Uh, those guys have some beautiful, beautiful voices, especially Julia, and uh, their music is amazing. If you're not familiar with them, I strongly suggest you try to research them. Uh, this song may not be the most popular, but it's one of my favorites. I know I said 12 songs, but I always like to say some extra ones. I'm always worried that you may not like a few of them. My goal is at least if you can come up with five good songs that you like, I would feel that I have accomplished my job. The next one is De Mouvoir by Orchestra Baobab. This is an African style music and it's beautifully, beautifully done and it's just some beautiful vocals. It's one of those songs that even if you don't understand the language, you still can enjoy the song and appreciate it. Orchestra Baobab is a band from the Senegal. It started in the early 70s, so it's one of those vintage uh, bands. Next, we have Empty by Ray Lamontani. This is nothing extraordinary in this song, but it's just the lyrics that keeps you going. And it's just the strumming of the guitar and the purity of the sound of that guitar. And it's just simple, but one of those songs that they appear simple, but they keep you more engaged. Also, you might want to check out All the Wild Horses by Ray Montano as well. It's another good one from the same artist. Next, we have Give It Up to Love by Mighty Sam. This is a jazz style kind of song, and it's got some beautiful, beautiful male vocals on it. Uh, you will have to listen to it to appreciate it. And the music and the musicians in that band, just absolutely beautiful. Next, we have Last Night by Aruf Aftab. If you guys are not familiar with her voice, it's just one of those voices that you have to listen to. Uh, it's got just such beautiful clarity and on a good stereo system, you could really hear her presence. It's almost like you're just there in front of the singer. And my last song is actually the, probably the most important one, is a very special one to me. And you know what it is? It's actually a silent track. Yeah, weird. There's nothing on that track. There's no music, there's nothing, it's silent. This one is by Robert Earl Keane. Uh, I'm not sure what he does in there, except being quiet. But anyways, uh, the moral of story behind this song is why would you need a, a silent track? 
it's so important you can play that one and see if you have any background noise in your system if your speakers are hissing if there is a 60 hum noise or 120 hum noise and all these things it lets you crank the volume higher and to hear even more but be careful if you are putting the volume higher and that song finishes you might have a new song coming in and you might have a big explosion on your speaker so be very very careful not to crank the volume on this song without being careful on how when the song is going to end but this is an important song that will let you analyze the uh, quiet moments in your system and basically the background noise floor of your system. I hope you liked my selection of music and I hope that at least you came up with a few songs that hopefully will enlighten your mind and make you appreciate and enjoy the music. If you like my videos, please share them, like them. If you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you on board. And I'm trying to make a few more of those videos and other videos. So I'll put a couple links in the corners if you're interested in some of the other ones. Take care and I hope to see you again.